Hi Erin, today is Wednesday, September 14th. When I was trying to decide what to do for my video today, I thought about doing a book review, but rather shamefully, I haven't been reading much lately. So then I thought maybe I could read or reread a book this morning and then talk about that. So I pulled some books off my shelves as options, and I wound up reading Odd and the Frost Giants because we both had it and neither of us had read it, and it was really enjoyable. I liked it a lot. But it also made me recall our discussion of other books and authors from your shelves, which made me pull Jurassic Park off my shelf to reread, which made me start thinking about how I'm scared of dinosaurs. So even though it might seem like I'm talking about books today, I'm not. I am talking about fears that I have that some people might consider irrational. As a preface to this topic, I am scared of a lot of things. Some of my fears are perhaps a bit more reasonable than others, but generally I am ridden with anxieties. So yeah, dinosaurs. They're scary. Now I've had people respond to my fear of dinosaurs with things like facts about how dinosaurs are extinct and I shouldn't be worried about them because they don't exist anymore. Those people won't stand a chance when the dinosaurs attack. I can probably blame this fear mostly on Jurassic Park, both book and movie, but the way I see it is, somewhere, somehow, some sort of dinosaur is out there right now, or will be soon, either by incredible survival skills or by crazy experimental science. And let's be honest, if there are dinosaurs, we should be scared. Admittedly, not many people have been swayed by this argument. Fools. Of course, now that I'm trying to think of my supposedly irrational fears, I'm having trouble thinking of them. Animate dolls and the dark are two big fears of mine that some people might claim aren't rational, but are perhaps more common than fear of dinosaurs. Dolls and things coming to life, in particular, of course, ventriloquist dummies, totally creepy. And I've always been afraid of the dark. Like, crouch in a ball and weep afraid. And that's before I learned about the Vastra Narada. Vastra Narada don't even scare me because the dark is already too scary for them to make it worse. Oh, I did remember one other thing. Um, so lots of people are scared of bugs, right? But other people who are scared of bugs probably aren't also concerned that when they kill a bug, that bug's family will gra gather an army of their friends and come avenge the first bug's death. Yeah, that's probably not a common fear that other people have. It, it could happen, though. Um, it could totally happen. I've had a couple conversations with my housemate about these sorts of things. Two of her supposedly irrational fears are being swallowed by a whale and Jack the Ripper. Again, I think these are perfectly legitimate things to be afraid of. I mean, just because they seem unlikely or, you know, completely irrelevant because Jack the Ripper is dead. Whatever. Legitimate things to be afraid of. So now I want to know some things that you're afraid of that people foolishly don't think are rational either in comments or in video form. And Erin, I will see you on Monday. Oh, postscript, I uh, redad my hair. It's, it's kind of pink now. <laughs>